Let's let's get on with it. Let's let's take a look at some presets. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna flip across yeah, to my uh, screen sharing. All right, so presets in Sapphire, very close to my heart. I've got I think I counted 698 presets of mine in Sapphire now, um, and uh, Ben and I have worked very hard to add another 350 to this new version. It's been really exciting working in it. I always enjoy it because Sapphire is um, obviously it's a very deep set of plugins. And when I create presets, I get a chance to get into the builder and um, and explore, and then just you know really just sit here, put the music on, and be really creative. And I think we've come up with some really nice looks. Now, the best way to um, explore the presets in Sapphire is, of course, using Sapphire Effects. So I'm just going to just search for that. In John, my... while while you're searching, I just got to say, did you did you said 350, three three hundred fifty new three. presets? Yeah. Oh my lord. 350 it's so fantastic gonna... i'd like to point that out that is, it's well, ben just showed us this 350 that's badass yeah ben just showed us this 50 new um color fuse presets which is terrific so add that that's added to that 350 or that in included in the 350. okay so s effect is the best way to well really the only way to preview and browse all of the presets now, obviously you can browse presets for individual effects but um this is the way i like to work so i'm just going to click on load preset and let's take a look now the best way to find out what's new uh, in any version of Sapphire is just to click on new so this is going to show you all of the brand new presets now there's going to be a bunch in here that um, uh, like this one texture cells which are you know for backgrounds but there's also a lot of things that can be used to you know, to modify this um, this shot so the best way to to work is just to you know cruise through these if you're not sure what to you know what you're looking for um and just you know apply them and see how they might look on your shot you can always um, do a comparison side by side or a or a split which is really nice um and just come through and just browse through and just see what's available first i th just to say i definitely think you um would be worth spending five minutes just to see what's new um I've actually included a lot of different sort of gradient presets. Let me just turn off um, this and just come in and search um, gradient. And let's go. Actually, we'll go to we'll go to groups. Let's type in gradient. It's going to show us all of the different S gradient, radial, and gradient multi effects. What we can also do um, is we can add a filter. And I'm going to just come in here and type in V2022. And that's actually applied it because I hit enter, of course. It's going to load that again. So used to hitting enter after doing anything. Let's try that again. So I'm going to type in gradient and add filter and V2022. I don't have to hit enter. So there's all of the new different uh, gradient filters or gradient presets that I've created. Um, for this version because I felt that there wasn't enough um, presets for the gradients and you'd have to go in and you know create your own which is just takes time so I spent a bit of time doing things which I thought were useful there's also a bit of color theory that's gone on with these as well so just handy to have those in there um, also created a lot of new builder effects there's 24 new builder effects which type in V 2022 in here 2044 we just skip forward 22 years 2022 so i had a lot of fun with using s effect in this particular um, version every time um, i get into sapphire when i'm going into preset mode i can start to use effects things like ultra zap and ultra glow things i haven't done a lot of presets for and include them in my preset creation um, what I've really tried to do here, apart from a few interesting backgrounds, um, which are combinations of different effects, I wanted to come up with looks that you could literally just drop on a shot and just change the shot completely, you know, to give it a really nice look, rather than just a color effect or a warp effect. It's a combination of different effects using S Builder um, to change the way, um, you know, to change how a shot looks. And I've, I've kind of, I've done, um, used a lot of different warping and, um, uh with various effects so that we can affect the shot using um distort the distort effect i really like how that looks 
um, and just playing around in S Effect until I come up with shots with looks that I thought were going to be quite useful. So they really are, you know, drag and drop, and gives you a chance to really change the look of your shot without having to do very much. Things like this. So these are S Effect effects. If I just choose, for example, um, let's see, glass panels like this, and just click load. So as uh, ben showed before with Sapphire Effect, you can control inside the, the builder which parameters you want to be visible in the host. And that's what I've done with all of these. I've only, re I've only revealed the parameters that are going to be the most useful. You can always go back into the builder and turn different parameters on and off. So I could just come in here quickly and um, just change the amount of strips, just drop that back and bring that back and just you know, there's random seeds in here, so I could just change the random seed until I get something that actually suits my shot. So you're really getting full value of a lot of the different Sapphire effects by combining them using S Effect. And once again, I said I can come back in and I can edit the effect and have a look in here. And once that loads up, we can make adjustments inside the builder as well. So you can see. I've actually left a little note in here as well, a little sticky note. Just different things you'll find, um, different suggestions for how you might want to use this. Let me just zoom in here. I actually was playing around with a whole lot of other different effects sandwiched in here. And you can see I've used Rack Defocus to adjust the background. If I just click on that and adjust it to focus width, you can see how that's, oh, sorry, sorry, that's inside the actual, um, inside the actual glass um, strips. So that's using Rack Defocus. But I was experimenting with other different effects because obviously the Sapphire effect and the builder opens it up to experimentation. So I threw a bunch of other ones in there, but I didn't want to turn them all on. So I just left a little note. So maybe try those. So if I right click and just disable Rack Defocus and choose something like Collider Polar, just enable that. Now we're going to get Collider Polar only being um, visible inside those strips. And you could try lots of different effects in here. S Effect really opens up Sapphire to um, your creativity. So definitely go in and try those different S Effects. Try the settings in After Effects or in, in your host, and then come into the actual builder and play around and take a look at how it was created. And as Ben mentioned, you can preview selected nodes, and you can come in and um, you can see how these were built just by clicking, clicking on the different effects and see how they were combined, and there's distort at the end to give that glass plates. So heaps of fun to create. I'm just going to click OK. So like I said, 350 new effects, and we have deprecated over 200 effects. So there's a bunch of stuff in there which I felt, and I know that some of the other team members, Brian, Ben, felt that probably weren't as useful. So we've hidden those, and we've gone through and really spent time building things which we think we would want to use, and hopefully you would want to use too.